First question is from Hammer Health, who is asking how to slowly increase your metabolism by increasing calories. Oh, yeah, that's the, the reverse, what do they call it? Reverse uh, dieting. So here's what's interesting. Um, and I want to say this before I get into the, the point that I'm going to make, right? Because we talk all the time about boosting your metabolism through building muscle. And then oftentimes I'll get people who will retort and say, oh, you know, studies show that a pound of muscle only burns this many calories. So it's not as big of an effect as you think. The, here's the interesting thing about metabolism. You have, a, imagine this, uh, think of it this way. You have a range of calories that you can burn with the current lean body mass that you have, right? So this is just for, uh, you know, illustri illustrative uh, sense here. Let's say you, you have 150 pounds of lean body mass. Your potential calorie burn, metabolism-wise, could be between two to 3,000 3, calories, for example, or 2,000 to 2,500 calories with the same lean body mass. Simply eating more actually gets your body to burn more calories. So does cutting calories actually will slow your metabolism down. When you lift weights and you send this signal to build muscle, even if you don't build muscle, because you're prioritizing or at least sending the signal to build muscle and strength, you will you will move more towards the upper limit of what that calorie burn is. So step number one by boosting your metabolism for boost, boosting your metabolism isn't just to increase your calories, but it's to send a muscle building strength building signal. And you don't have to add a lot of muscle to do this. I mean, you can you can add a pound of muscle or two pounds of muscle, but make a big difference. So step number one, if you do this, you have to follow a good workout that's really working and you're seeing strength increases. Now, most people that ask this question are already working out. Right. So the advice I like to give to someone like this is actually to switch your programming up when you decide to do this. I, I've had a lot of success with clients because you're normally training them or they've trained before. Or this person asking this question, I'm guessing is probably already lifting. So instead of just, okay, you've, you're following the same routine or your favorite program or your favorite workout, and then now you go, oh, I heard on Mind Pump, I want to build my metabolism, so I'm going to start increasing my calories, and you just increase your calories, and that's it, and then hopefully you just put on lean body mass. I also, at that same time, want to shift my focus on my training, and, and that can look a lot of different ways. I mean, you can go to a whole different program. You can add in new exercises. You can manipulate your rep ranges. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways for you to manipulate this, but I think... Also, sending a new loud signal, I think it just protects you with any sort of extra calories that you make. It's really hard to be like, okay, well, how many calories do you eat to build just muscle and no fat? Well, it's almost inevitable you're going to put on a little bit of body fat because you're in a calorie surplus right. consistently. So, well, how do I ensure that most of it goes to building muscle? Well, one of the ways I can do that is send a new loud signal to my body that I need to adapt to this new movement or this different way of training. I think is a smart strategy, and it's I've, I always do that. Anytime I'm switching gears on a cut or a bulk, I also like to switch gears on my program. Now, do you guys like target say a specific uh, macronutrient to kind of focus on more to to boost those calories up? Like say more protein, like actively trying to seek more protein in your diet versus like carbohydrates I, or fat. I would recommend clients that, that the protein's the must first that we get, but yeah. I actually don't tell them they have to get if they have if they were going to increase their calories by say. 150 to 200 calories. I don't say, oh, it has to come from from protein. I say, so long as your protein targets are hit, yeah. you can use it however you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some days, if you feel like you want more carbohydrates or more fat, and I think there's value to going on all, all three directions. You I know? agree 100% because if once you hit that target, adding extra protein, it's okay. Your body will turn it into energy. Here's the problem, though, with adding too much protein. It's so satiating that past a certain point, if you're really starting to reverse your, your diet and starting to bump your calories, you'll find that, oh, I can't eat anymore because mm -hmm. protein is so satiating. I've had female yeah. clients tell me that like, you know, I'm reverse dieting and I'm trying to get my metabolism up, but I'm so stuffed. Yeah. And I look at their protein intake and this is not common. This is rare. These are for people that really pay attention. I'm like, well, your protein's really high. It's going to zap your appetite, which is a good thing if you're trying to cut. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying to reverse out, you know, and trying to go up, uh, maybe not. I would say, you know, as far as how fast to increase your calories, depends on the person, you know, 100 calories to 300 calories is probably the range, I would say. Although I've seen people go up higher than that who have a lot of lean body mass who can get away with adding 500 calories um, and not gaining you yeah, know, too much body. Yeah, if you're lean and big and already muscular yeah. and you're trying to add more, I mean, you could easily go 500 plus yeah. on somebody. But I mean, but. here's the strategy, right? Follow a good strength building routine. That's number one. Slowly increase your calories. That's number two. Get good sleep. That's yeah, number three. Yeah. You do those three things, and you should see over time, and some people this happens pretty quickly, you should see your metabolism really start to, to boost 
And sometimes you'll get your metabolism. I mean, I've had clients increase their metabolisms by a thousand calories. Like I'm, I'm, they're literally burning a thousand more calories a day just sitting there. So huge, uh, very effective strategy.